Hello, it is my pleasure and my extreme honor to talk with you and to give you my ideas, my thoughts about things that are going on in our nation. Uh, firstly, I love this nation. I've always been a patriot. Uh, there are people who are living here, people in power, who are not so much patriots as they are people who wield power and uh, they don't mind destroying things to keep power. That's not who I am and that should not be anybody in the Christian community. I've asked you not to be complicit. You, you don't have to be complicit with strong people who take things, seize things, uh, grasp things by force. Uh, that's what is going on, even with the demonstrators. I've been uh, out in the city and invariably somebody would say to me, uh, the demonstrators, the chaos, the looting, and I'll go, yes, that is right. What they have done is they have found an opportunity and they seized it. They forcefully took hold of it. But I'm saying to you, don't allow them to take hold of your mind and your thinking because uh, as the looters have uh, grasped something that was not theirs and then polluted it, tried to destroy it, so have rogue police officers. And what we need to do is keep our mind on the, the situation and the problem, keep our mind on the solution as well. So if we uh, have not allowed the rogue policemen um, to, as it were, take our minds off of something, don't let the looters take your mind off of it. And, and even at the highest levels of government, I'm asking you, don't let someone through their illicit acts or actions or through volatile speech then seize the moment. Don't let them seize the moment. I'm saying to you in this audience here that the moment is yours to be seized. And especially those who think fairly, those who want justice for everybody. And we're all better when everyone does well, not just a few people. Don't listen to people who are trying to take your mind. They're actually trying to co-opt you into thinking all oh, these looters, they're all the same. Don't believe that. They're not all the same. There are good people in there. And I've seen good people uh, there marching peacefully, bringing attention to the nation, saying we need a change in our nation and uh, we need a great change. But I would, I would like to tell you as a minister, as a pastor, that we can never have truly a change in our nation without a change of heart. And that's why I preach that Jesus Christ is the solution to all of our problems. Yes, he is. Secular government does have um, uh, the blessings of God because the Bible says that God has instituted government, but Jesus Christ brings the reality of God. He brings the right heart. He brings the right resources into the issues. So I'm gonna ask you again, not to be uh, distracted from the real problem. We have a, a real serious problem and it's going to cause us irreparable harm if we don't do something. Well, I love you, and I believe that you will do something and are doing something, and I will see you back on this forum soon.